This is called the, uh, the handcuff deadlift or um, handcuff uh, hinge, uh, hip hinge, whatever you want to call it. It's a different way of actually, it's, I would say it's one of the most uh, foolproof ways of doing a deadlift correctly. I won't get into kind of reasons of why deadlifting, but in terms of one, it's a great postural exercise, which is um, um, a key component of why I wanted to uh, demonstrate this video. Um, is like I said, it's great for um, allowing for your hips to be better aligned. Most people kind of have their bum stuck in, so they have kind of that low back um, um, curve. So this is a great exercise to not only strengthen the glutes, engage the core, but basically um, promote that proper pelvic posture, which basically aids with better shoulders, better neck posture, um, better moving overall. So most people deadlifting um, can be a little bit of a challenge in terms of doing the actual motion, especially from a standing position. So you could use a dumbbell, um, with your two hands behind your back. For today's purpose, I'm gonna demonstrate with the kettlebell. You don't need a heavy amount of weight, because uh, again, think about this exercise as more kind of um, ingraining proper technique um, for deadlifting, okay? So what you do is you kind of set yourself up you can place your knees on, on, a, on a yoga mat or a pad. Arms are behind you. Think about really drawing. Don't shrug. Just draw your shoulder blades back. You're nice and tall to start. And then obviously still engaging the tummy muscles. And then you literally just kind of bend over. It's almost impossible to kind of round your back by doing it this way. And you push those hips back as far as you can, keeping that chest nice and straight back. And then really squeezing the glutes as you come back to the stand. So, Pushing those hips back, and then coming up, like so. Pushing those hips back, and then coming up, squeezing the glutes. 